Hi guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we were going to check out the Android O DP1 that is a developer preview when review on the Nexus 6P. So in case you guys have the Nexus 6P 5X, the Pixel XL and the Pixel and the, some of the Pixel C, so you might be wondering whether you should install Android O or not, kind of issues, battery backup and benchmarking stuff you will get or not. So I was installed in a couple of days and I'm playing this thing uh, primarily a lot of time. I'm using this whole day just to figure out important things, what has been changed or not. Also, I started putting all the videos for the Android O tips and tricks. So check that video in the description. So let's get started. And by the way, this is the uh, Skinova skins on the marble. Looks pretty nice here. So here's my uh, Nexus 6 feet running on the Android O DP1. So you might have uh, seen the interface, how does it looks like. So this is what is here. You get the new uh, yellow Oreo kind of stuff. So I won't be going into much details. Uh, you might have seen all in previous videos how does the interface looks like. But the new things here, for example, if it is uh, there's a, a dashboard and you can simply, ex if you just click here, it will expand. And if it is normal, you can directly put it here. Say you cannot expand it. Wi-Fi, you can expand it. This is actually lineage ways of kind of concept. So I'll be starting first with the kind of personal experiences that I had with the devices with running Android. So uh, I did found that device is working a sort of better way compared to the Nougat I have because I'm carrying the device in the Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 then we got the 7.0, 7.1.1 now we have Android 8.0 so it's a kind of fourth iteration of the operating system that I have got at so personally it is working fine and some of the tweaks I have done here uh, this is my uh, device that I have already rooted so in case you're going to install it so if you want to root it so check that video out you can exactly root it and I also I have installed the pixel launcher because the pixel launcher is still coming even with the Android O exclusive to the pixel phones but still you can install it and also I have made it as a system application so that I can get this Google Nos 5 feature so you can do that uh, if there's a different videos check that videos out so personally as I said you guys the device is working I don't think so much faster so I guess it's at least same but in terms of battery I got I really appreciated much it's getting better battery backup especially for my devices course in Android Nougat I don't know what is the problem I was getting near to three hours of screen on time always but even the debris one because the Android was focusing much on this you know uh, background app limitation to minimize the battery life and all those stuff so here you go and if I go to show you guys the battery details you can see the currently I am here right now on the 16 percentage and actually I'm using it from pretty much hard time one and a half hour and let me show you here a quick screenshot uh, that I have shown for the yesterdays so this is what you can see i'm getting an average of four hours screen on time this is my second discharge still i got eight to nine percentage batteries left so i was able to make the four hours so i am really confident uh, on the further upgrades of the build the nexus 6 is going to get a very better battery backup and even looks cool now uh, if you just go here on the settings you can see uh, the things that you can get on the battery uh, you can feel and analyze is much better way you can estimate time left and you can exactly see what kind of application has confused a lot of data so sleep time, battery of saver, you can exactly tell that. So, so many good things are there. So in terms of battery, uh, it's very great. So you can just compare your Android Nougat in case you're getting uh, 5 plus, so it's great. Otherwise, you will going to get uh, at least uh, 4 hours of screen on time. And mostly, I was using this Wi-Fi and the LTE connection and almost 40% uh, of brightness, you can say. And pretty much so much stuff I'm doing, including the 4K video filming and all the stuff. So this is about the guys in terms of battery. And guys, I do want to talk about the memory management also because you know I need to use few of the app applications regularly. For example, the YouTube Twitter Studio, YouTube, Twitter, and Solid Explorer. So I did felt that uh, uh, even after eight to ten hours, uh, say I open the app just right now. And if I open tomorrow, the, I found this application in the same stage, not even on the different pages. So I felt the memory management is very great on the Android Nougat. Uh, it happens like you know uh, most of the times my apps keep on refreshing. But you know, if I running a small set of applications, not very much heavy games. So I did found that everything was in the same place. So, so let's talk something about the camera. So camera is same. I did not felt anything here. And you can see even the HDR, if I took few photos, uh, still it is taking a bit of time. You can see it is processing here. So it's not much faster compared to what we have here seen on the earlier. It's still taking a bit of time. But uh, I guess in the future updates, and it's again the same. Uh, nothing must change in the setting everything is same because this is the google camera app default that you will get so everything is still same you can pretty much do all the thing 4k recording so uh, in terms of videos and camera this is fine and uh, this is right now you can see it's great and you got all this manual focus and all the stuff you just stop it so camera wise there's not much improvement i have seen it's same what you have seen in the nougat 
and in terms of uh, any crashes yeah there are a lot of crashes game the first things i did felt that sometimes i open settings so i get like system ui is crashing so i need to restart your device so this happens uh, many times and yeah important point in case you're going to root your device so you might can reset everything because it happened with me so check that video in case you want to root too so now another big important uh, issue i did felt is uh, you know uh, when i was going to change my launcher so you can see uh, right now it is running pixel launcher so i did felt that when i took the nova launcher sometime so my uh, home key was not working sometimes i have to use battery for example I am in certain application and I want to quickly go to the desktop so sometimes I did feel that and sorry guys I am not able to show you exactly this time but I did felt it a lot so my home button was not working I have to actually use the back button so uh, this happens only with Nova launcher and with the other launcher like uh, Google Law and Pixel it doesn't happen but I don't think so it's launch issues maybe some internal issues it was not able to make it to set default and each time it is shuffling here and there and also another big problem I did felt that I was not able to log into my Google Play game so this is first time happened starting from the Android Marshmallow I was not able to log into my account I know if I remove my Google account or if I reset my device this thing will fix up but in one and a half year this is the first time I felt that I was not able to log in so this is kind of error you will get if you try again so it's not going to get I tried so many ways and yeah, I guess uh, after reset it should work so guys this is about the battery in terms of kind of issues that I got that otherwise all the applications launch pretty great and even the games are loading fine memory management is okay as of now because of the speed you can see it's launching much faster compared to the nougat I was planning to do a speed test but due to this google play issues I was not able to do that because you know I actually made my setup accompanying with the pixel but with this play issue issues maybe I will just do a reset and we'll fix that thing so guys uh, it's time to check out the benchmarking score you might be wondering what kind of performance do you get so this is the what I got here the scores are pretty low this is I felt again because I ran all the Android Nougat updates starting from preview 1 to 5 and even, even the 7 w and beta 1 and 2 so even on any kind of developer preview the scores are quite low compared to the but you will get the official because you know companies just keeps on changing the stuff so about the interview and this one here is about this geek benchmark so 1 to 5 weight and uh, it's quite comparable compared to nougat but this yeah okay because this is the old device you cannot expect anything more than that now guys i have some old archives so actually i don't have a screenshot but yeah i have so many videos starting with android nougat 6.0.1 so you guys might be interested and you're wondering, wondering what you know, the comparing the android marshmallow the nougat the final o not the final actually currently as well as the final android or dp1 but the score variation so let me show you quickly both the android and the geek benchmark results these are the guys uh, some of the entity scores I have collected so I have taken a snapshot from my previous uh, videos you can check out I will put the links in the description so what is important here as you know I've been running and interview so uh, at the first preview gives you an idea how you know the final version of the android is going to look like so I'm just comparing the stages here when you the marshmallow till what we got in the final android doing the 7.1.1 and I have not covered you know the developer views because I have a couple of them so I don't want to mess up with these things here so Take a look at the Android Marshmallow, we got the very very low score, it was just 50k, now it was 7.0, it just jumped a lot, 7, 8, 78k, and even though it is very low compared to 2017 standard, but still, as you can see on the Android, you guys 7.1, we got the score of 81, so all the previews, all the beta that we will run, you are going to get a lesser score, but the final version exactly will be much stable, so uh, just compare with the Android or DP1 with the Android, uh, you know, 7.0, so we are at 78, and we have the final also just compare the Android O score with the final Android Nougat so they are so near so I'm really very really hoping when the Android O will become final on the October and the September end so it is going to be much faster on your Nexus 6 speed so these are the entry tools now let's move to the same for the key benchmark results so as you can see Marshmallow is way way too low when it becomes Android 7 dados the single core scores become double exactly not I score also being improved now what is shocking here take a look on this Android Nougat final 7.1.1 we have the great multi score, we have the great single core score compared to the previous versions, not comparing to other devices. Now, again, on the beta one, you can see scores went so terribly low. It is 696, what we have in the March below, but again, it's fine. And also in the Android O, you can see and compare the Android O version, uh, the current key score to the Android, you get 7.1.1. So they are pretty similar in the single score, and even the multi score score is given greater than 3K. So assuming that Android O final brings a lot of further improvement and a better scores.
So guys, at the time of conclusion, whether you should be upgrading your Nexus 6B 5X and any of the Pixel XL or Pixel devices to Android or DP1, so I will say no because there are some major issues and yeah, one more issue I failed to show you here, failed to show you actually. And uh, here's the one as you can see, I have one photo and I do want to show you guys here, uh, as you can see, the morning I was running a uh, benchmarking results, so I found a very uh, strange issue, so you can see but the device was in this uh, landscape mode when it rotated back you can see the part of the screen here is certainly clearly blank it's not able to show half of the screen so it's kind of funny but so these kinds of you know weird issues can come i found three to four times so that's what i have uh, noted down so uh, wait for next build hopefully by next build or when it is in the public beta so th those things are stable so as soon as this is first build so anything can happen so like google play games you are not able to log into your account so so hope you guys find this video helpful this is Sarah. i'll catch you very soon have a great day